Hello, boys and girls. This is Mr. McAndrew, the math coach, with you again. Um, gonna give you a challenge today, okay? So um, I'm not on the video because I just <laughs> I just don't fit. Because that we're gonna use the hundreds place. Um, so we have a three-digit numbers here. So the numbers 251 and 193 are three-digit numbers. Um, we do have a problem here, so let's read it. We have that it says Mike used to collect baseball cards. Uh, this used to be a popular thing, boys and girls. I'm not sure if any of you do that anymore. Um, but it used to be when I was a kid. It says he had 251. He sold 193 of them. How many does Mike have left? All right, so this is clearly a subtraction problem because he used to have 251 and he got rid of or he sold a bunch of them, 193. So we're trying to figure out how many baseball cards does Mike have left? So I've represented the number 251 with base 10 blocks. So here's my hundreds. So two hundreds, right? 250, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 1. Okay, so he got rid of, sorry, he sold 193 of them. So let's record that. So he sold, he took away 100, he sold 90 from the tens place, and 3. All right, so you might quickly realize if we come to the ones place that we have a problem, which is that we don't have three ones to subtract from, but we know what to do. We can simply regroup this 10 into 10 ones. So I click it, come down here and break it up, and I bring it over. Okay, so now we don't just have one one, we have one plus 10 more which should give us 11 ones, right? So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, we've got 10 here plus one more. So now we have 11 ones. So now if we take away 3, 1, 2, 3, we can see what we have left, which is 11 take away 3 is 8. So we took away 3. We got eight, eight ones. Okay, so what else do we have? Uh, oh boy, we have another problem here. We're supposed to take away 90, but clearly we don't have enough tens for that. We only have 10, 20, 30, 40. However, just like we regrouped one ten for 10 ones, we can regroup 100 for 10 tens. So let's try that. I'm going to break this up. 10 tens. I'm going to bring it over here. It's going to be it's going to be crowded. I'm going to leave them. Actually, boys and girls, I'm going to leave them together just like that. So now you can see that we have 10 tens plus four the four that we started with. It means we have 14 tens. Okay, so now we can subtract 90, right? In fact, you can see that if we were to cross out nine of these, okay, that would subtract them. Then we would just have this one right here. So we'll add this one, okay? So we have, because we subtract the 90, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay, so let's record that. We have 50 here. So we have five tens, which is the value is fit, so it's 50 baseball cards here, 8 baseball cards here. Uh, and we do need to take away 100 over here, so if we just cross that off, we've got 0 hundreds left. So all we have is 50 plus 8, which gives us, boys and girls, drum roll please, 58. Okay, so you may want to watch that again if that was a little bit confusing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it looks like uh, if you were just doing it on a piece of paper. So 
251 minus 193. Let's do our little place value chart here. Okay, so we have our ones, we have our tens, and we have our hundreds. Okay, so all you need is a piece of paper, line, blank, doesn't matter. So we have 200, just draw a square for 200, 50, 1. Okay, so we're going to subtract 193. We don't, just like we did before, we don't have three ones. So we come over here and we regroup that 10 into 10 ones. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so now we can subtract 3. I'll take away this and 2 from here. So we have 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 ones. Right over here, you can see that we're supposed to take away 90, but we do not have 90. So we're going to go over here, and we're going to regroup this 100 into... 10, 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now we have 10, 11, 12. We have 14 10s. We can certainly take away 90. Let's take away 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. That leaves us with 1 10 right here. 2, 3, 4, 5 10s. So that gives us 50 baseball cards here, 8 baseball cards here. So we did this, we did this. If we subtract 100, that's gone. So we did that, so zero hundreds. So we have 50, oops, I don't know if I left room for you to see that. We have 58, which is exactly what we got um, with the, uh, the math app that we've been using, right? So go back there real quick, 58. Okay, so um, there's two more problems for you to work on. One does not involve any regrouping, and then the other one does. It's very similar to the problem that I just did for you, so you are welcome to go back and watch this again if that is helpful. All right, boys and girls, great job, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.